Yeah, these ones are game changers. They're not they're not terribly big. But um like the biggest one that holds the most is uh I mean it holds fifty one hundred. That's f insane, brother. Fifty one hundred and thirty eight different little things. Oh you can put my in it. god. It looks sick. They are so goddamn expensive. Can you put cash in here too? Yeah, it's everything. Mm. How many? Oh, sh we actually place them down. These are all storages here? We kind of... <laughs> I wanted to talk to you about something eventually. What's up, brother? You got the time because... I wouldn't call it a thorn in my side, but it kind of is a thorn in my side because I don't know how to approach it because the last time that I approached it, I got stabbed. So our only competition right now is ash ketchup right but really with that a competition comes strings right because i think it is the last time that i had done business with hydra i got stabbed over it oh that's right she is with hydra yeah and stelio ended up taking that fine and <laughs> All that snowballed because I told Flippy to go cut his own wood and got yeah. stabbed for it and called it st started to war. But yeah. now, I, you know, I've reached out to her and at least worked together with, you know, um, this furniture stuff. Since we're the only two people in the market, it makes sense for us to kind of work together in a sense of, you know, I can sell certain things, you sell certain things, and I won't sell whatever you're selling. That way you kind of keep it exclusive. You kind of keep it flowing through the two companies without me just taking, you know, every bit of it. Because I, I don't mind to take every bit of it, but, you know, I at, at my own fault, at, you know, most points, I, I can be too nice. But, yeah. you know, I approached her and talked to her about it, and she's like, well, I, I need 10 wood storages, right? Or, like, one of our prized items. I don't even really sell them because... Sebastian Walgreen does wood, and that's a wood thing. So I don't want to step on his toes. If I do sell them, I like go over prices with him. She wanted yeah. them for eight grand. Yeah. And I told her, I don't know about that, probably 15. And then, you know, she got upset about it. There's no way to threaten you over this shit. Uh, no, I, I mean, at this point now, it's like subtle things, but I can't be as aggressive as a business person as I want to be without the fear of walking outside and a convoy of gauntlet showing up <laughs> because brother, brother, brother. ideally did they, did they i would do that did they do that over this already no no but okay. i told flippy to cut his own wood over the phone and was stabbed 20 minutes oh later. yeah don't get me wrong I, I totally see them fucking coming after your ass over a couple of thousand dollars honestly yeah well over um, furniture too like so so that. so she wanted wood storages you at an X price, she don't want to pay the X price. She's upset, and now you're paranoid. They might come fucking try to clap your ass. Yeah, well, I don't think they will. I think what had happened is she got these before I did, right? She right. got medium reinforced and large in the in the same day, and then called me and rubbed it in. Was like, oh yeah, I got large, blah blah blah. I was like, that's cool, congrats, and all this other type of shit. But when, when I told her I wasn't going to sell her that shit, she's like, you, you're going to be sorry for your actions. And I was like, oh, what the fuck does that mean? Oh, so she like, threatened I'm you. I'm sorry, I've not done anything to you guys. <laughs> but trying okay, to so, sell furniture. Jesus. So, fucking. I mean, brother, stand your fucking ground, brother. Stand your fucking ground. What are they going to do, huh? What are they going to fucking do? What about a fucking gauntlets all day? With a dick in the fucking hand? Fuck them. A bunch of pussies these guys are. All right? Hydra are a bunch of fucking pussies, brother. They only pick on the fucking little guy. But when it's time to come toe-to-toe -to -toe with somebody equal strength or even more power, they back down. All right? These are the worst kind of motherfuckers on the planet. See, yeah, and, and that's why I wanted to talk to you because I'm not looking to start trouble. But when it comes down to it, and I can trust the police to an extent, but at the same time, I cannot trust them to do anything that I need them to do in terms of protecting the business. Because at the end of the day, if I've got Hydra knocking on the door every single day, it's going to drive all my employees away because they don't want to fuck with it. Like it's already hard to keep enough people as it is. But if push comes to shove and I can't 
necessarily protect myself or this company, would you be willing at some point to take maybe a payment or something for some type of protection if it came down to it? Of course, brother. Okay. Listen, why I got because... your back. I mean, uh, I mean, the reality is too. Uh, what, what we should really fucking do, okay, is once a big, a big juicy warehouse goes for sale down in fucking Cyprus, so we can afford to fucking give it to you. We, we just have you move, move your business down there. Truthfully, I'm down for that. I would much rather get out of here, to yeah. be honest. Because right now you're isolated. Right now, you come down to Cyprus, you're around all my people all the fucking time, twenty four hours around the clock. If shit's going down, somebody is at least gonna hear about it. Because I know for a fact, let's say. Okay, Guys, how about so Bruce this? Trader, are you crazy? That warehouse compared if to this is fucking to peanuts to watermelons. And I can help you buy it, right? Right. Would you would you kind of maybe front half we buy it and own it together? I sell this place. I, this on the markets right now. Brother, we, listen, I would just buy it and I would just lease it to you. That works. Small fee monthly, you know what I mean? Yeah, that that's completely you, fine. Then you get our fucking protection. You you're, you're in a turf where everybody knows, you know, they're not gonna fuck with you. And then, you know, these gangs are still going to come down there and puff their chest because nobody's scared of us, unfortunately, right? But uh, at least, uh, you know, they might think twice before they do it. Because, I mean, we've gotten this far without having to do anything like that. And I've tried to stay neutral in a lot of sense. But, you know, it's a different ball game when you're kind of fucking with people that can't really keep it business, if that makes sense that the the second you do one thing it turns personal and then i've got to worry about dying yeah no, brother trust me brother you were talking to a very well seasoned uh, veteran in a uh, fucking business brother and uh, and 90 percent of uh people that wanted to kill me was over a, a sour business deal uh, people are too emotional uh, they can't keep uh you know business separate from uh, their egos it's, it's unfortunate how yeah. it goes or it just goes that way right um, but I do think, uh, you know, I, I don't want this business to thrive. Uh, I, I admire the fucking work you do. You coming down to Cyprus, uh, we can keep you flourishing for for as long as we we, we are there. Okay, that works. I I I fuck with that. It's just it. I can get over a lot, and I can, uh, you know, I've got some pretty thick skin when it comes to a lot of stuff. Like I really don't give a fuck. But yeah. in the grand scheme of things, it's it's not just my ass. It's everybody here. Right. So oh, I, I've course, got to yeah. protect them. So, you know, he could stab me tomorrow and, you know, some stitches will help and, you know, I'll be back in a couple of days. They but, f- yeah. you know, they Fuck target these, these other people. Listen, yeah. they, they soft as shit. All right. I get under their fucking skin all the time. It, 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 it is what it is. All right. We're going to move it down to the fucking Cypress. You just hold If things get real bad here, you just give me a call uh, and I'll see if we can help out where we can help out. I, I doubt it will. You know, let's just take it step by step mm-hmm. and we'll just go from there. I, I don't think you should back down for being a businessman, though. You do whatever the fucking thing is. Is the correct thing for you to do as a fucking businessman. Don't back down from fucking nobody. Yeah, I'm must, I'm must still be aggressive as fuck in terms of like how I because I've undercut her now in terms of pricing for these because she has them at fifty. Yeah, but you know, and I, and I told all of my employees because you know the question does come up like you know how how can we compete with you know all the in house stuff that they do. And I was like, it, it's it's very simple. Like, yeah, they may have access to it now, right? But it doesn't say that they have access to be able to sell these forever. And we constantly pump out so much shit that even back in there, and all those benches are full of blueprints, all those mailboxes are full of blueprints. I've got shit for days. Not to mention, like, I, you know, all the formula and, you Do know, we- what gets what. And different okay. shit like Let that. Let me ask you a so question. It's... Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. How big of a space do you want? Because I got a guy, a fucking Thor. I got a Thor on my side, you know, unironically. His name is Bruce Baylor. He owns a piece of property down in Cyprus. Um, now, it is a warehouse. The problem is, it's not the biggest. Fu- it's not this warehouse. This warehouse is probably what, like 8,000, 6,000 square feet? Nah, 9,700. <laughs> Maybe his warehouse is probably about 3,000. Right? Now, I think you should wait, but if you want to if you would want to move down there sooner rather than later, you know, just keep that in mind. There's a guy down there who's okay. willing to move out of there as long as he's got a warehouse that we can put up for fucking trade. 
I think we we may wait because the the bottom stairs is getting redone. I, I'm I've got somebody that's going to make it look like an actual department store Fuck where yeah. all of our couches are out on display, chairs, all that shit. So when nuts. people come in and kind of want to see, also I am working on our website to where it'll show what we have. It won't get prices because I'm not stupid. Like. Uh, I get why. I want to move this guy to Cyprus badly. Put prices chat. online. Take twenty percent of his fucking like, business. Easy for peasy. Me, uh, if you want to know how much something costs, give me a fucking call. Or you know what I mean. Like it, it's yeah. not hard to talk to somebody. I mean, brother, this is the, you probably have one of the hottest. Me and you probably have the hottest pieces of real estate right now. My fucking Cyprus warehouse was about 13,000 13, square feet in this bad boy. I'm telling you, this is this is a gold mine. Um, mm -hmm. I, I think I think oh, holding he, out is best. He, Hold out. Uh, so, uh, hopefully, you, fingers crossed, a big property opens up. We can we can buy buy it, move you in there. Then all your I don't want to say all your problems go away, but now at least you have the backing of a fucking crew that's gonna have your back. Yeah, I, yeah. I fuck Obviously, with that. you know at the end of the day it's fucking business. We're gonna have to take we're gonna have to work out some sort of percentages, maybe a payment or some shit uh, to to facilitate this fucking deal. But but I think it would be good for you. Then then who knows what goes from there, right? Uh, all the conversations we had with Jack and and whatnot. Uh, uh, obviously, you know, Leah's a, a part of this crew. It, that could happen with you as well. You never know. You know what I mean? I, I don't want to force it, but if it's a natural fit, it's a natural fucking fit. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm I'm always down to work. Like, I, I'm in here. I know you are, brother. 10 hours a day. So I know, I know you are, brother. I, like I said, I admire the the man that you are. You you are, you are you are a fucking, you are a workhorse, but you do it in, a, in ways, that are, ways that are very creative and, and, and fun to kind of look at. So appreciate it. But yeah, once something opens up, then uh, I, I, I'll move this down there. Because there's a, so much wasted space, right? Yeah, <laughs> so much wasted. Well, that's space. what I'm saying, right? Like maybe, maybe we don't, like we don't need a fucking warehouse that's uh, 9,700 square feet. But it would be nice that maybe, maybe at least 5,000, you know? Because it, it yeah. is a lot. Even our, brother, you should see our warehouse. It's got so much fucking dead space. It's fucking insane. Yeah, because as long as I can put the wood shit in there, uh, and the benches then i'm fine yeah then even if even if 10 hours did he get proud no uh, brother okay. i only get uh, yeah, proud of my gang out. members so brother. i think the goal is put this into a warehouse as just the warehouse and then open a storefront and then the storefront have all the furniture in provide that place with the storefront hire people for the storefront yeah okay and then just run it that way listen just just give me a call if things get way too hot all right i need you to help right just call right. me all right brother. yeah appreciate it all right why